I was a rookie once, and maybe just like you, I started my CapCut journey on YouTube, started with basics and continue to learn new things till this day. I would like to share with you a few tips and tricks so you can reach the high views like I did with some of my videos. And to get you from a rookie to a master, I will show you a few edits like how to create a spinning wheel timeline, progress bar, graphic animation and others. So let's not waste time and start right away. But let me show you some new CapCut features first. Did you know that from now on you can screen record inside of CapCut? You don't need any other software anymore. Just click on a new button record here when editing a new project to select a screen. Click one more time and this grid will show up. If you want to show your talking head, click on this camera icon to turn on computer or phone camera. You can then switch from circle to square shape and resize it if you want. You can also choose which microphone you're gonna use. When you're ready, just click on start recording and record what you want to say to the people around the world. When you are done, click stop icon and this window will pop up. You can go through what you just recorded. If you want to edit this video, click on edit more, but if you are satisfied, just click on download and it will ask you where you want to save the video. The second new feature in CapCut is sub projects. When in media tab, you now have sub projects option. That means if you click on it, you can import all the projects that you did and saved till now in CapCut. That will really help you in the future projects and will save you a lot of time. Now let us import this project for example. And if you check this option here, it will show you all the media from this project in the media tab. So if you click on media, you will see that you have a new folder inside from the project you just imported. And if you click on it, you will see all the media that you were using for that project. Now you can drag individual parts to the timeline or the whole project. Next new feature is 3D effect. Drag the picture or a video to the timeline, select a ratio and resize it. Go to the effects tab and find player 3. Drag it to the timeline, but not on the clip, but above the clip. Stretch it to the end, go forward a bit and get rid of this music player with texture and turn off the glow. Go to the position and click keyframe on horizontal, rotate, size and vertical. Then go to almost to the end and click the same keyframes. Go to the first keyframe and rotate it to this side like this. Then go to last keyframe and rotate it to the opposite direction. You can also increase the size and slide it to the left. If you think that it's too slow, you can just drag that last keyframe more to the left. Now let me show you a spinning wheel timeline. I just have a random video here for a background. Go up to text. Add text and I'm gonna write years from 2015 to 2025. Hit spacebar twice in between the years. Make them smaller so we see all of them. Choose some bold font, scroll down and click on glow. Then go to 6 second mark and stretch the numbers to the playhead. Go to the right. Click on curve and set it to 350 degrees to get that round shape. Go to the beginning and click keyframe on rotate. Then go to 4 second mark and spin the rotate wheel 5 times clockwise. Make sure that at the end you show the year you want on the top. Then right click, show variable speed animation, highlight the last keyframe, click this arrow to move to the first keyframe go to curves and choose cubic out animation. Right click, create a compound clip, go to video, basic and increase the numbers. Go to mask, add mask, choose rectangle, resize it around year 2025, set the feather to 35 and that's it. Let's move to the next feature which is progress bar. Again I have this random video here, go to text, add text and write 2x underscore. Scroll down, 
uncheck uniform scale and set the width and height scale. Then rotate it and move it to the left side. It doesn't matter where. This clip is exactly 10 seconds long, so we will also make a 10 second progress bar. Duplicate that line, change the color and add a glow to it. Create a compound clip, go to video, mask, add mask, choose split, rotate it, set the feather to around 15 and pull it down. Click keyframe on position, move to the end, pull the mask to the top and keyframe will be created automatically. Let us check that progress bar now. Graphic animations is one of the most important skills in CapCut. I have this black background here and I have created a white line that we will use it for the road. Drag the card to the timeline and remove the green screen. Resize it and place it on the left side. Go to basic and remember the Y position which is minus 774. Then move car out of the screen and correct the Y position. Click keyframe on transform. Go to 2 second mark and move the card to the right side. Correct the Y position again and if you play it now you will see that the car stops unnaturally. That is why we need to right click, show variable speed animation and on X axis highlight the last keyframe, go to curves and choose cubic out animation. As you see now car stops more naturally. Next we have a cool video in video transition. Drag down the clip where you are holding a phone with a green screen. Green screen is a must because we will swap it with the video. Then drop the video you want to put in the green screen, cut it if you need to and resize it. Drag the main clip above it and go to the spot where you see the green screen. Go up to remove BG, chroma key, color picker and click on green. Set the intensity to 30. And if you are a pro user, you can also set the feather edge and clean up edge which will smoothen the edge around the phone screen. Then move your playhead to the spot where your second clip covers the whole screen and cut the right part of the upper clip. And just like that, you got a cool video in video transition. We just can't get past the text behind the person effect. What we need to do is duplicate this clip, go to remove BG, auto removal, go to text, add text, write something, change the font and add shadow. You can then also add animation. Then right click, create a compound clip, go to effects, Add play pendulum effect, set the values like this. Drag the text under the cutout clip and there is our text behind the person. For the last tip today I'm going to show you paper unfold effect. We can use this clip for this. Delete the text and import the picture you want to unfold and duplicate it. Then go up to transitions and find the one called Paperball. Unfortunately, this option is only available for those of you who use a pro version of CapCut. Click on plus sign and if you play it, we have this. As you see, we have a CapCut logo showing on the beginning and that is what we don't want. So highlight the first part, go to basics and turn down the opacity. Highlight everything, right clip, Create a compound clip and drag it under the cutout clip. And there you have a nice paper unfold animation. So learn those tricks and soon you'll become a master. Take care and see you in the next one.